Hey everyone, it's Christina with Brody. Welcome to Wednesday. We are so excited to break down this week's issue and talk all about Married to Medicine with Mariah. Yes. Welcome. How are you? I'm great. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. Yeah, you guys are both visions and green. Yes, oh, we yeah. are. <laughs> and we're wearing it well. Yes, yeah, thank you, you thank are. You. We're not green with envy, don't try. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. So like I said, we're going to talk all about the show, but you're going to help us break down this week's issue, and it is a great one because we're going to talk all about the royal baby. Yes. Yes, Meghan Markle is pregnant she's due in spring of 2019 so we're going to talk all about that we're also going to talk about selena gomez uh channing tatum and jenna jenna dewan both moving on dating other people and chris humphreys what's he been doing seven years after he married kim kardashian <laughs> seven years seven wow. years time flies probably not for him but nope, seven. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yes but before we get to all that we have to talk about you how are you doing okay, i'm doing great yeah mm -hmm. i mean we are what six seasons into six the show seasons in did you yeah. ever think when you started this that it would be what it is today i don't think i did yeah. i mean it just catapulted mm -hmm. and i'm i mean i'm so grateful and i tr truly feel blessed because yeah. the show has done really well. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And on season six, the heat is up with the Ooh, drama. Yes. And I'm all in it. Uh, I like you are. I'm all in it. So what can we expect from episode eight? Oh, my gosh. Episode eight is very emotional, honestly. Okay. I think it everything kind of comes to a head. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about the group is we're already explosive, mm -hmm. but we also come together, come together when we need to. Mm -hmm. So season eight or episode eight, is a very, very emotional one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So everything kind of kind of comes together. Mm -hmm. And you also play a little imitation game, correct? Um. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody take offense to this? I'm not sure who took offense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure they will. I'll hear all about it at the reunion. I'm sure. <laughs> They'll get over it. You know, some people can be a little sensitive at times. <laughs> they yes. can be. Yeah. Oh, Vanessa says, love that suit, Mariah. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Vanessa. You have taste, girl. Love <laughs> <laughs> it. You have had um, Dr. Simone give your 14-year-old daughter, Lauren, the talk about the birds and the bees. Yes. Did mm -hmm. you crack up t watching that scene? I did not. I cringed. Oh, really? no. Yeah, because I still get nervous about yeah. it, and it's one of those things that I am truly dreading, you know, watching my baby grow up. I love that she's grown into a mature mature um, high schooler, Yeah. but I'm so nervous. Of course. Mm -hmm. So I didn't. I, I mean, I love Simone, and she did an excellent job. But, I mean, this is just a new era, so I'm just really, really excited but nervous about the chapter that mm -hmm. Lauren's going into, that what she's is, in now, right. actually. What does she think of the show? Um, she, uh, is she allowed to she, watch? <laughs> she, she's allowed to watch her, okay. her scenes, okay. but that's it. Oh, it's taint too much. I don't allow my kids to watch the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, they don't need they to see their mom like They see me every that. day. They don't need right. to see me on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think eventually you'll let them? No. No. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, they, I'm will. sure they will. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure some kids at school will be like, wow, your mom really handled her in that situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what, why are you watching the show? Yeah. Right. yeah, but they love it. So I know a lot this season has to do with Quad. What do you think about her divorce situation? Um, my heart goes out mm -hmm. to her and Dr. G. Um, you know, we, we were once friends. Mm -hmm. So... You know, it's one of those things that divorce, it can feel like death, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of times. And it's, you know, so I hope and pray that they make it through it. Yeah. You know, I still have hope for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, interesting. But I do. And she called you on Watch What Happens Live, she called you the most fake. Yeah. And you said you don't kick someone when they're down. No, I don't. How do you stay grounded in that? How do you not? Well, it's hurtful, mm -hmm. especially with somebody that used to be your friend. But I feel like right now she's just projecting. I think mm -hmm. the one thing about me that everybody knows is that I'm very transparent, very authentic. So to be called fake by quad, that's the person who changed voices and, you know, everything. So I'm like, listen, I've been consistent. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is just stay true to myself and try to stay grounded. Mm -hmm. Why do you think she'll get back together? Or why do you think she can get back together with Dr. G? Um, I just think that people make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, Quad is the youngest of the group. And at sometimes you kind of just got to put on your big girl panties and face problems, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, head on. Mm -hmm. And I think she's kind of running from issues. And I think she needs to focus on two things, and that is her household and her husband. I'm not mm -hmm. saying he didn't make a mistake. It was horrible, and I was mortified when I heard about it. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I've had ups and downs in my marriage, and I think it's 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 a commitment that you make with God, and you just have to keep giving it, 
You're all. Yeah, Do you think so Greg has really owned up to it and apologized? No. And maybe that's a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a huge part of the problem. He does have to take ownership of it. Sure. Yeah. So. I mean, how would you handle the situation? You know, I mean, his alleged mistress comes forward, has all these stories about him, and you know, this she's finding out through Ooh. Instagram that he's cheating. I mean, it's got to be pretty uh, defeating. I would probably go Jerry Springer on the day. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably go Jerry Springer, right. and then I'd feel better next week. Yeah. <laughs> and then we could kiss and make up, possibly. But you know, I would, I would probably snap. Yeah. I would. I'm just mm -hmm. being honest. Yeah. yeah, I would go off. She said that she would probably never reconcile with you. How do you feel about reconciling with her? You know, I think it says a lot about her, mm -hmm. honestly. Like we were friends, but nothing happened that bad. Right. Like she's so angry with me. I almost feel like it's displeasure placed anger. Yeah. Yeah, like I didn't do anything. I tried to be there for Quad. Mm -hmm. Yes, we had a girlfriend fallout who who I mean everybody does. Sure. But so many things things have happened much bigger um, in the big scheme of things. So it's just it's just not that serious. Mm -hmm. Like you just have to forgive people and move on. Right. We don't have to be friends, but we definitely shouldn't be enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think her goal is for us to be enemies and I'm just not gonna give her that. Yeah. You also have some long standing beef with Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly. No, she has beef with me. Okay, that's yeah. what it is? Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, mm-hmm. Because a couple episodes we saw it reach a fever pitch. So yeah. where do you guys stand now? It's um, still... The same place. We okay. don't stand near each other. We don't stand by each other. We, mm -hmm. I don't want to see her. Like, we're not friends. What do you think's at the root of her issue with you? Um, I think that from day one, Heavenly just didn't like me. I mean, yeah. some people won't like you. And sure. it, mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with me. That's more about who she is and the way she was raised. And I think she's dealt with some things in her childhood. We're seeing a lot of those layers now on the show and it now it's a, a lot of things are coming to fruition and I understand it a lot mm -hmm. better because I always wonder like what did I do to sure. do to her like yeah. to make her this angry yeah oh. so you know I think that's a lot of it sure Casey's asking Mariah do you still have the receipts that Dr. Heavenly's husband cheated absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely and I'm uh, in one of those situations where I feel like I'm it's I'm between a rock and a hard place mm -hmm. because I want to be vindictive and I want to just lay all the damn receipts out mm -hmm. with the invoices and and it'll help everybody connect the dots but with that being said I'm still a married woman and I do believe in karma and I don't want to bring that negative juju you know into my household mm -hmm. so it's one of those things where I can't stand heavenly but her husband has done nothing to me and I so I, I hate that I said it but now you know I'm in a place where she doesn't want to mess with me and I'm mm -hmm. not saying it to threaten her but I'm just saying you you always take aim at my family and you need to see how it feels mm -hmm. you know if yours is in the heat do you see how in that predicament though if you say you have the receipts and you don't show them then people think that absolutely. obviously you're bluffing mm -hmm. absolutely that, absolutely will that eventually push you to okay here's one no that, it will yeah. and I and I am yeah. and I'm going to and I I have the receipts and I'm definitely going to do an audit at the reunion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. I can yeah, imagine. Absolutely. Yeah. and it's not what I want to do but it's, yeah. Yeah. it is what it is, it is, what it is. I mean yeah. she has called you a pathological liar she has. in the past is she this has. a way to, for her she hasn't to... said one lie that I've told mm -hmm. she never said what what have I lied about yeah yeah so did you ever just think of going to her directly with all the receipts and no because she's way, always or? said that she didn't want to know if if my husband's doing anything I don't want to know is what she always mm -hmm. says so you know no I didn't if we, we, were, we weren't friends right so why do that besides being messy so do you think there's more hope for your relationship with quad than there is heavenly because you and quad did have a friendship at some point or do you think with both of them it's kind of like the ship has sailed the ship has sailed and sunk honey and i ain't going anywhere so yeah. they have to figure it out Got do you it. want to see her relationship kind of dissolve i mean because with all the breakups and things going on on the show it, which relationship dr heavenly what you mean like her marriage yeah. right absolutely not yeah and that's that's what I was saying no I don't I know yeah. I don't want to see anyone break up because you have to think the premise of this show is marriage and medicine sure. mm -hmm. and you don't have you don't see a lot of minority educated happy families on TV mm -hmm. although we exist so you don't see it a lot it's not as prevalent you know in entertainment so I definitely don't want to be a part of the demise of anybody's marriage mm -hmm. or family that's not 
that's that's not my thing. Yeah. Well, I think the other incredible thing about the show is that it shows how much work goes into a marriage yeah. and people really putting in the work. Yeah. And right. and holding each other accountable. Yeah. A lot of overtime. Right. Because you, you do see a lot of other shows where it's oh look at our perfect marriage no. and this, we've got perfect kids and perfect work. friendships. Yeah. But in, you know, married medicine really goes there. Yeah. And they'll yeah. say this is how much it hurts and this is how we've made this work. A lot of sacrifice, blood, yeah. sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is Contessa doing? She's doing she's doing much better. Okay, good. Yeah, and she's been in great spirits and good. she's pushing through it. She looks amazing. That's good. Amazing. Yeah, that was I mean probably. girlfriend is snatched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes she is. <laughs> she looks really good. Has your marriage changed at all since being in the public eye? Oh, Aiden loves it. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> he lives yeah. for the limelight. Uh, yeah. So we have a, I mean, no, we've always had a really great time. Yeah. Um, we don't have a perfect marriage, but we're perfect for each other. Mm -hmm. So, no, we've always, I don't think it really changed, but, you know, besides people recognizing us a lot sure. more. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Lots of drama. Yeah. A lot yeah. of yeah. drama. A lot yeah. of drama. Yeah. Robert and Vivian say hi. A lot of people are commenting on your great suit as well. Oh, thank so. you. <laughs> yes. Thank so you. a lot of drama still to come this season. Is there mm -hmm. one moment that you can't wait for fans to see? Um, oh, it's just so much. It's 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 heavy. It really truly is heavy this season. Um, I think the moment was, you know, I think my moment was our talk when Aiden and I talked to Lauren. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like we needed, people need to see that. Sure. I mean, they have to see you mothering while being fat. <laughs> you know, but they, you know, I think people need to see that, you know, yeah. we have real conversations yeah. with our children, that we have some of the same fears mm -hmm. as other, other mothers, and that, you know, we will run the boys away, <laughs> just yep. like other mothers. So I think that um, that was my moment. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, being a fabulous mom. Nice. Mm. I can't wait for the reunion moment. I know. I, know, I bet you can't <laughs> I reunion. can only Are you nervous? imagine. Do you get nervous yeah. for the reunion? Like what people might come, if you're coming with receipts, don't you imagine they have receipts too? Well, no, because I don't live a double life. Mm. Yeah, so well, anything they have is, it has to be manufactured. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the only thing I can do and the one thing I have done well at is, is being myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. And that's just it. I mean, they may hate it, but it's real. They, I mean, they can't make up a receipt on something that didn't exist. Didn't exist. Sure. I put Literally. my own message, you know, <laughs> I, I tell people, like, even with me and Aiden's problems, yeah. Yeah. they didn't unveil that I told that. Yeah, well, yeah. then you're in control when yeah. you can do that. Right, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Tashay is asking, do you really feel you should be the one giving quad advice as a friend? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. And sometimes I do forget that, you know, that we're not friends anymore. Yeah. But with that being said, we're still on a show, mm -hmm. ensemble cast, mm -hmm. and you have to have a voice. Right. You know, and you have to be prepared to listen, mm -hmm. you know, to the other voices. I mean, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. So That's true. Yeah, I'm going to share my opinion whether she wants to hear it or not. <laughs> yeah, it's good on the show. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mariah, you're going to help us break down some let's news break it stories. Down. So let's do it. So Duch Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry are expecting their first child in the spring of 2019. That source tells us that Meghan can't wait to become a mom, and she can't wait to raise her little one away from the busy city. The pair actually plan to spend a lot of time at their $5.4 million home in the Cotswolds, about two hours outside of London. A palace source tells us that no one, bother the, no one bothers them there, and they're excited to raise their children in the country. Oh, wow. The baby's going to be so I bet, beautiful. Yes. I bet she's really also excited to raise her baby away from her, her derelict, oh, her oh derelict dad. Her really outspoken yes. half-sister. Yes. Yes. Lots yes. to say about her. Lots yes. to say. I think, I, I just look at her and I think Markle with the sparkle. Yes. Mm -hmm. She just looks so beautiful. She she's just so graceful and classy. Mm -hmm. and I just love her. Yeah. I do. I absolutely adore her. Mm -hmm. and I love them as a couple. Yeah. And I mean, sources have been telling us for a while that they wanted to start a family right away yes. and they weren't kidding. Yeah. yeah. They certainly weren't kidding. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, what a great unveiling. It's nice to always see her mom, you mm -hmm. know, by her side. Her yeah. mom is such a great figure of strength, particularly yeah, she when she is. has so many family issues going sure. on. Our sources have said there's been a lot of stress on Meghan and Harry mm -hmm. because of all that drama that's generated like that. by her. It's, yeah. it's really, yeah. you know, to detract from so much. But her mom, as our sources have said, is expected to go to London that's and to, to be there as yeah. support when, when her baby needs her. I'm sure. Yeah. It, I'm sure, like, you know, she's surrounded by the royal 
adult family, but it's got to be a little lonely at times, you know? She's yeah. Been, so it's great to have her mom around. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the queen's swooping in. Right. Like, hey, hey, girl. girl. Do you need no time? <laughs> <laughs> but she looks great. And she does. Sources are saying that she's feeling great, too. Yes. And our sources, mm -hmm. actually, speaking of the queen, our sources said she congratulated them at Eugene's wedding. Mm -hmm. um, but they had, the <laughs> royal family found out the news about the week before everyone else mm -hmm. did. Um, and wow. everyone's obviously really delighted. Yeah. And uh, her dad found out when we all did. Mm -hmm. As they should. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I need <laughs> them to back off of yeah. Megan. Let yeah. her have a, a healthy pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And we just need to expect a beautiful bundle of joy. Definitely. I'm looking forward to I it. Know, yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. Do around next May, around the end of April? Yeah, May. around May, because um, Princess Charlotte was born May 2nd. Mm -hmm. um, so they think around that time period, because she's about 15 weeks right okay. about now. Mm -hmm. Spring baby. Yeah. Exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Yes. Okay, let's talk about Selena Gomez, because as we know, she's been going through a bit of a difficult time. After a series of panic attacks in late September, she checked into a psychiatric facility, mm -hmm. and a source tells us that she wants to do that. She wants to better herself every single day, and she's doing that by focusing on her faith, her family, and her friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel so bad for her. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. It's you know she's been famous since very young, mm -hmm. and our sources have told us there's a lot of pressure on her. She feels very responsible for people around her. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she's in the limelight. She now has a very small circle, mm -hmm. but seeing her former very serious boyfriend Justin move on so quickly with Haley Baldwin mm. everyone has to always be asking her things mm -hmm. about it commenting on things every interview yeah, she does people want to know how yeah. do you feel it's a lot of it's a lot of pressure so it's, it's, it'll get to you yeah she's so young and beautiful mm -hmm. um, and she's such an inspiration I had the pleasure of meeting her oh, nice. on an airplane with the kids what? Oh, what? Right. and when I tell you she is absolutely stunning she is. Yeah, she yeah. and she mm -hmm. had the best spirit so mm -hmm. I am rooting for her, I'll be praying for her, and I want her to push through. Yeah. She's so young. I mean, she, I mean, she's going to do amazing things. Oh, she she already has, mm -hmm. but I just want her to push through. Yeah. yeah, I just can't imagine what it would be like. You know, she breaks up. They break up in March. He's engaged in July, so and you know, yeah. married. Like it's just all happened so fast. And That's but tough. clearly, yeah. he's going through some things yes. too. We've seen him crying out in public mm -hmm. recently, yeah. and our source told us that he really feels for her. They obviously have a connection. They yeah. sure. have had this serious connection that has played out so publicly mm -hmm. for years. Yeah. But yeah, you know, she's she's definitely pushing through. Our source said she's improving every day. That's she's got good. an album to get back to and wrap yeah. up. Her fans are. Rooting Definitely for, rooting for, for her. her. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we wish her well and a yes, speedy recovery. Do. Okay, let's talk about Channing Tatum. Now, he has been heating things up with Jesse J, but his ex, Jenna Dewan, is getting back on the dating scene. An insider tells us that she is seeing somebody new and that her mystery man isn't well known. This is so the Channing Tatum Jesse J just seems so crazy to me. Yeah, she looks just like Jesse That's Jenna what Dewan. creeps me out. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's yeah. Like yeah. It makes person. sense, but I'm yeah. also like, oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Looks just like her. Yeah. 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 And it was interesting when we found out about um, Channing and Jesse's relationship. It had been going on, our source said, for a few months, mm -hmm. but it was like casual and fun. But he's been following her on the road yeah. to various concerts. When we were looking into it, they had played mini golf in one city. Mm -hmm. It's like, a cute unfolding romance but surprising that you know he's choosing to date another celebrity yeah mm. um, I mean you know you can't choose what the heart goes sure. after so heart he's choosing sure. to, uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like he is choosing and chasing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yes. and she's dating someone our source said who's under the radar mm -hmm. but that sort of makes sense after you're in a very public relationship right. people were shocked when Channing and Jesse oh. well when Channing and Jenna right split up. same person she yeah. looks so <laughs> great though Basically. I love watching her on World of Dance oh yeah she, yeah. she yeah. looks amazing. Mm -hmm. She's so talented. She's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. She'll she be sure fine. Is. It was very surprising, though, because they were always very, you know, lovey-dovey. And, were. you know, it, they seemed like the perfect couple. But I didn't see that coming. Yeah. No, no, I did not no, see that coming yeah. at all. People were yeah. freaking out. Yeah, but I, it looks like they're focusing on co-parenting their daughter, their five-year-old daughter. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Good for them. Good Keep for it them. moving. Keep, Keep it moving. moving on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, there is somebody who is definitely not keeping up with the Kardashians, and that is Chris Humphreys. Seven years after his 72-day marriage to Kim, a source tells us that he tries to stay as far out of the spotlight as possible and truly wants zero association with his Kim K past. Wow. I'm sorry, Chris, it will never escape you. <laughs> no, right. I know. He double dribbled. And <laughs> rebounded out of that family. Yeah. Just quit. Oh my yes, God, he did. did. Yes, he did. Yeah, no, our source said he's working on real estate in Minnesota and mm -hmm. it's way behind him. They also said that in 2011, he really genuinely loved Kim and he yeah. was in it for 
our source said the right reasons, <laughs> but now it's like a distant memory yeah. for him. Yeah. Which, it's not for us. It's still a very us. fresh memory. I can't no. believe it's been seven, seven years. years. Yes. It's I just crazy. can't believe it. I mean, we were, I was going back and looking at some of the footage. I remember that crying scene of uh, Kim. Uh, <laughs> she yeah, I, like, know, so I broke good. his heart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this wedding. I mean, this wedding was out of control. It was beautiful. It was. It was a beautiful wedding. And, you know, it just, she said she knew on the honeymoon that this was just not going to work. Yeah, yeah well, and you know what? Sometimes you know. Yeah. yeah, you do. It's true. And and he said he doesn't want to be in the spotlight, but she has clearly found a match who mm -hmm. wants to be what? in the spotlight. Nothing yeah. better spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, definitely. But yeah, so it seems like he has moved on. He is enjoying the single life, right? He He's, sure is. That's what yeah. I was yeah. to And I'd love to hook him up. He is a good He's catch. Cute. Yeah, and he, he is cute. really cute. cute. He is really and I have cute. a lot of single friends that will love to live out of the spotlight yeah. with him. Yeah. <laughs> and they are trying to yeah. keep up with the Kardashians. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but they will it keep is, up with Chris. It yeah. is interesting. I'm sure he had to sign things to not say anything about the family. But, yeah. I mean, he really has kept his mouth shut since yeah. he moved on. Admirably so. Uh, yeah. Even if it is financially motivated. Right. You know, no, it's, totally. It's pretty admirable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it is. seven years later, you have really haven't heard a peep about no, you that haven't. relationship. And mm -hmm. his name has come up many times in the last seven oh, years. Oh, yeah. By people around them and also the Kardashians. Yeah, and also yeah. the Kardashians. So, yeah, I mean, fair. sometimes things don't work. Um, Dawn <laughs> said, when will Married to Medicine resume? What's well, on right now? Yeah. Yes, yes. it's on right now. So every six, Sunday at 8 p.m. Yep, every Sunday at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Well, Mariah, thank you so much for helping us thank break you. down this week. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Brody, what, what else is in the there same section? There are There's 25 something. Things with Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, fun. Which is actually really fun. I love that. We also talked to the Top Chef contestant, Fatima yeah. Ali, who spoke so about her, ca her cancer that she oh, has recently. She's been a real fan favorite. Really interesting story. There's more here. It'll be there's there'll be more online. Mm -hmm. We have details about Teresa and Joe. Obviously, Joe Judice received the news of oh, being yeah. deported. Mm -hmm. So lots That's of tough. yeah, lots yeah. of stuff yeah. going on here. Mm -hmm. but and some news on Ariana and Pete. Yes, they're and they're surprising. Surprise. <laughs> <Split. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, maybe yeah, surprising. Names. That was a really <laughs> yeah. not, not, not too so surprising. Yeah. But yes, there's a lot in this week's issue. So make sure yes. you pick it up on newsstands right now. Ryan, thank you thank so you. much. And make sure to check out Married to Medicine every Sunday night. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye.